plenty of interesting information there to think about. Now, we have been having some lovely weather recently, and I'm sure that some of you will have taken the opportunity to explore the countryside. But as Rachel's been finding out, you need to be aware of hidden dangers. Now that it's midsummer, many of us are digging out those walking boots and picnic blankets and heading out to enjoy the great outdoors. But there are always those pesky little bugs around. And although most of them are harmless, there's one that's spreading a nasty disease. And you need to know about it if you're going to be spending time in the countryside. The bug in question is this one, the tick. It's related to the spider, it feeds on blood, and it can transmit an illness called Lyme disease. The ticks can be tiny, sometimes as small as a poppy seed, so they can be really hard to spot on your skin. Lyme disease affects the central nervous system, and the consequences can be very serious, as Wendy Fox discovered. The disease got into my central nervous system and it caused a swelling in my brain and spinal cord so it's left me visually impaired and also it, it left me paralysed from the waist down because the, the, the tissue damage is irreversible. Wendy had always been a fit young woman until she was infected around 10 years ago. I think I was infected through my work. Um, I, I was regularly bitten. I was working at various zoos in the UK. I was a competitive horsewoman and I lived on a small holding, so ticks were just part of my life. I just didn't know that they carried any infections. With warmer and wetter weather in the UK, the tick population is on the increase, and so are the cases of Lyme disease. But because the symptoms are so varied, it can be difficult to diagnose, and in some instances goes undetected. Back in 2008, Cathy Morgan from Plandelo's life was turned upside down when she was bitten by a tick. One of the bites on my arm, it, um, a red patch started to grow around it and eventually it cleared in the middle to leave like a red ring, um, which I ignored. Um, and from there on, I started to get lots of strange symptoms one after the other. Um, I was getting like a numb, heavy feeling down one side of my body, um, headache and light sensitivity with a bad neck. You know, I, I thought I was going to die at one stage, you know. Um, so, you know, I was really worried, very worried, you know, especially for my kids as well. The family's life was turned upside down, with daughter Louisa having to care for her mum. I was going and checking on her because she was not, she wasn't very, breathing very well. And I was just really worried that something really severe was going to happen. But it took an agonising two years, numerous trips to the doctors and persistence from Cathy before she was finally diagnosed and treated with antibiotics. She's now on the mend but wishes that doctors were more aware of the disease. Well, for nearly two years I was obviously quite uh, down and worried um, and uh, a lot of the time I, I couldn't do things with the kids, you know, because I was um, in bed sleeping or tired, you know, very tired and uh, feeling faint and things. So, you know, I've lost two years then, you know. Environmental health officers in Wales are so concerned about the increasing cases, they've launched a poster campaign to raise awareness of the disease. And with the number of cases in the UK up by a thousand last year, Wendy Fox has set up a charity called BARDA to raise awareness and offer advice. So just what should you do if you find a tick attached to your skin? If you see it attached to your skin, you need to make sure you remove it correctly. The only safe way to remove a tick is to use fine nose tweezers like these, not, not broad nose eye, eyebrow tweezers because that compresses the body of the tick. So you approach the tick from the side, grab it close to the skin at the mouth parts and gently lift in an upward motion. Don't twist because that applies too much pressure to the mouth parts and they'll break off. So when we set off on a woodland walk, how worried should we be? People shouldn't be unduly worried. No, they, there's no need to panic about Lyme disease because um, you know, not every tick is infected. Um, and even if it is, it doesn't necessarily mean that transmission will occur. But because the ticks don't sort of wear a sign saying I'm infected, you need to treat them all as potentially infected and make sure you take simple precautions.
There's no reason not to go out in the countryside because the chances of being bitten by an infected tick are slim. But you can reduce the risk. Tuck your trousers in. Spray yourself with insect repellent. And once you've done all that, enjoy the sunshine. And we've put the official advice on our website, along with details of how to contact the charity that Wendy set up.